Okay, we're out here at Black Rock. We're going to be flying uh, this rocket today. Um, show you a few things. Is um, how it goes together is a little bit different. Using the motor case as the coupler. One thing is you want to make sure that you have a nice, fairly loose fit because the case is going to expand a little bit. Um, I have very little room for my drogue in that I have the part for the well and then I have about two inches inside the electronics bay for my recovery system. And that this gets all packed in here then this piece slides over Then it gets bolted together, otherwise it's really hard to get um, it together without having pieces underneath the coupler and stuff. Um, nose cone um, has the chute and charges in it already, and um, electronics bay um, slides right in. <clears throat> then I have the arts, and I switched over to a G-Wiz LC Deluxe, um, two batteries in the top taped to the connectors, taped inside, little string is to get the um, electronics bay out. My tracking system goes on the back side. Walston goes here. Um, my beeline goes into a piece of inch and a quarter thin wall tubing attached to the shock cord up in the nose cone. Um, This slide right in, and then the batteries are held captive by the top cover plate. So, motor um, is N1600. Um, we'll probably be going up in about an hour and a half. on the pad, have double igniters, fold them back a little bit so they're contacting the core. Got tape on here. So it's all fiberglass rocket, hand laid. Videos on how to build it. Um, we have um, Arts, G Wiz, Walston, and a Beeline GPS unit in it. We're going to be tracking it from out here in the field and also from um, the virtual classroom. All kinds of butterflies. I'm going to do the twist and tuck method. Like my rockets, I kiss them before I send them up. You can see how I'm shaken. I got a ton of butterflies.
that's why we do this. You get butterflies when the motor lights. You get butterflies when the rocket's first flying. It's scratch built and it's put together right. You get butterflies at max Q when the motor burns out. That the motor or the rocket survived the fastest part of the flight. You get butterflies at apogee that I have a good event that happens. Um, I have butterflies all the way to the point um, of finding the rocket. So if we weren't getting butterflies and getting nervous, probably wouldn't be doing this. They call it the butterfly effect. The more things that you scratch build, the more of those butterfly effects that you get. So I always like to arm the electronics before I hook up the igniters. I uh, put the igniter in, but didn't hook it up yet. That way if you hook it up and it takes off in front of you, then at least you have your electronics turned on. So for my buddy Donnie, the good luck charms inside the rocket. So my friend Ken Adams is in the background taking pictures. He's always with me looking for rockets. Electronics are saying we're ready to go. Pick up my garbage, pick up my tools. We're going to back up a distance and uh, reset up the video and see how it goes. This is one of the most nervous flights I've done. I'm going to tap them together, make sure there's no spark. Gonna stretch those out so they don't burn. Make sure they're not touching. One last thing we always do, and we'll see you in a little bit. Continuity check. We're good. All right, last All right, RP twenty officers. Up and up, 1600. Pad D, Dragon 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Smoke. Little wiggle, still burning, hold them together, straightened out. Motor burn. And I think we have a 46 second to apogee time. What's the altitude, Ken? Uh, yeah, let's see. Ten five four seven. What's that? Ten five 
4. Tony, I'm not seeing a beeline beacon. Ten three four zero. So it's coming down. Yeah. Kind of slow. Yeah. Good. So we had a, a apogee event. Still have it on the wall stand. It's reached. Um, something's came out, which is good, and we're waiting for a main at three thousand feet. Ten zero seven six. So it's still about thirty thousand feet. Okay, so I'm getting signal faint right there, stronger right there. Right there. So half between there and there is right over Ken's head. So now to find up and down, Faint. So we're right in this area right here. How in the heck are you supposed to find anything out here? Like two and a half miles from camp. Ken, where do you think it is? Uh -huh. How far? Feet. Okay, broke the nozzle on landing, brought it down fast, all the fins are on, stickers are on. My little mane got wrapped up, but evidently slowed it down enough. My brake points, some of them pulled, some didn't, so I'm pretty close on that. I use a sleeve of work pants that's Nomex, not a sleeve, a leg, as a shoot protector. And um, I think this is a 42 inch sky angle shoot. So whether it came down in a big ball, had enough stuff out to slow it down so it didn't get hurt. Pain actually held up pretty good. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> oh. Okay, Donnie, we just went like 27,000 feet, hopefully close to Mach 2. Just pulled off your little token. We'll get it back to you. So, we're out here in the middle of Black Rock Desert. So, that's all.